An examination of the work of post-impressionist painter Paul Cezanne reveals that landscape painting comprised a significant portion of his oeuvre. Many of his landscapes are depicted from his own garden located at Chemin de Lauve in Aix-en-Provence. While Cezanne's Provencial landscape practice has long been considered worthy of study, an investigation of the role his own garden studio played in his work has never been attempted. Despite popular interest in Chemin de Lauve as a tourist destination, a critical understanding of Cezanne's relationship with the site has been somewhat reduced in scholarship to reflect a basic understanding of the artist's relationship with nature. My research has revealed that, far from being a mere reflection of Cezanne's passive interest in nature, Cezanne's garden played a fundamental role in the production of his work in the final decade of his life, which is an intermediality that has been overlooked within the discourse until now. Former curator of the Musée d'Atelier de Cézanne, Marianne R. Bourget stated, Cézanne's garden is like no other garden. It has escaped all intentions except those of nature. My thesis, however, argues that the garden did not escape the artist's intention. Rather, Cézanne's garden was the product of the artist's conscious manipulation of nature, which through careful planting anticipated how the garden would look whilst in bloom. To support this, I provide evidence that demonstrates the artist's botanic knowledge and familiarity with Parisian garden motifs, which he directly appropriated through the use of his studio garden. Revealing the highly constructed nature of his garden, this thesis will unveil Cézanne's understanding of his garden as an artistic process, which also reflected his experimentation with 19th century color theory and optical studies. These I track through specific plants grown in his garden that appear in his preliminary sketchbook drawings, watercolor studies, and finished paintings on a reoccurring basis. The schema behind Cézanne's Le Jardin de Lauve was not random, but was a result of calculated construction and acted as a preliminary drawing for Cézanne's paintings. Thus, Le Jardin de Lauve did not escape all intentions, but rather, Cézanne's garden was consciously contrived and actively maintained by the artist himself. Recuperating a preparatory practice hitherto overlooked by scholars engaged in the grander production of landscape painting, my thesis intervenes in a discourse characterized by romantic understandings of the relationship between the garden and the artist. This study moves beyond Cézanne's conventional appreciation of nature and exposes the vital importance of the garden to the artist's work, while also showing that without the artist there would be no garden, let alone a garden of nature's intention. Le Jardin de Love was, and remains today, an intellectually sculpted landscape, and this thesis is a testimony of its importance to Cézanne's artistic process. Here at the University of Guelph, our art history program offers students a wide variety of areas of study on historical attitudes towards the visual arts, critical approaches to art history, and methods of art practice and presentation. The Masters in Art History and Visual Culture program provides students the opportunity to engage in a critical dialogue relevant to the past, present, and future of art history, all the while encouraging the development of personal research and presentation skills. Through the two-year thesis stream, the MAABC program provides students the tools necessary to succeed on an independent level while also offering a network of supportive professors and faculty members along the way.